just wanted to uh, acknowledge that the uh, board of directors election just concluded, uh, and I wanted to congratulate the, the folks that uh, won, and uh, uh, many many incumbents, Mr. Mr. Jordan. Congratulations to everybody. Um, and I wanted to thank uh, Gary Lasada for your time on the board. Um, uh, you just great service. I appreciate you. Uh, and I, I want to uh, thank the five people that uh, agreed to interview with me. I, I took the interviews. I disseminated those to the taxing entities. And I got a lot of good feedback that a lot of people appreciated that. Uh, and uh, I, I just want to say that this year I felt like uh, some of the law changes that happened where the, um, the larger taxing entities were required to vote early on, it it was a very refreshing, much more fair election, in my opinion. And the evidence of that is that some of the smaller entities' votes mattered towards the end of the election. They were, they were relevant. And, uh, and I also want to acknowledge that there were seven candidates, seven out of the 12 candidates presented themselves to a board to say, hey, here I am, I'm here to answer questions or whatever. And, and that's just, it's a very, very good thing. And I just want to, uh, just acknowledge the improvement and uh, I'm, I'm just optimistic that for this county we're headed in the right direction. I can't speak for the other counties but uh, thank you to everybody that, that was active and participating and really trying hard to um, uh, play an active role in, in this, uh, in this, this uh, election. And so the, one, the reason why I feel like this is so important is because our country was founded on the principle that or, or one, of, one of the guiding principles is that we shouldn't be taxed by people that don't represent us. In other words, we should vote for the folks that are going to tax us so that we can hold them accountable. And where we're at today with our property tax issues is that we have the tax rate times the property value equals the tax bill. Well, I don't think that this system was set up with the, um, with the level of, of appreciation that we're seeing in property values happening. And so what ends up happening is the, um, the, the folks that we have elected, they pass their tax rate. And a lot of times they'll pass a tax rate that is equal to or even sometimes less than what the tax rate used to be. And from the general public point of view, it, it's difficult to understand that that can still be a tax increase. And so what ends up happening is it confuses the equation. When you have a, a very simple equation like this, where the property value plays such a large role that actually this board and this entity plays a large role in how people are taxed. And, but, the, but the public does, the public, uh, the, the taxpayers don't get to vote for you guys. And, and so this taxation without representation is an issue. And when you talk to the, the, the person on the street, they don't really understand how the how the how their why their tax bill increases. They understand tax rate. They understand when my property value goes up, then that's a problem. But they don't really get it. And so uh, here's here's what I want to say. I I just want to encourage everybody in this room and everybody that was elected to this board to be the kind of people and to conduct yourselves on this board in such a way that if the general public understood the way the system was run and they got to see what was happening on, on the inside here and they really got to see what was going on, that they would see a board that is committed to improvement. I'm not saying that things are broken. There's always something, and may, there are definitely things that are broken, but there are a lot of good things. I would say Tarrant County has a lot going for it that a lot of other counties don't, but that's irrelevant. The only relevant thing here is how you guys are committed to improving. No matter the current status, we owe it to the taxpayer. There's devastating issues out there with, uh, with this property tax issue. All the gubernatorial candidates, Democrat and Republican, are all talking about what they're gonna do about property taxes, and it begins and ends with the budgets that are passed, but people don't understand that. And you guys, when the, 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 the blame is unfairly shifted to you, to, to, to TAD, to, to property values. Uh, yeah, your time is almost up. So thirty seconds, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I just want to encourage you that Mr. Lasada was bold and willing to disagree, whether you agree with him or not. And I just want to encourage you: disagree, stand up for what you feel is right, no matter what your views are. It doesn't matter whether I agree or Mr. Law agrees or anybody else. There are people out there paying their tax bill that depend on you guys to stand on your convictions, what you believe is right, try to identify the problems 
understand more about where the problems are, and even the things that are going right. Ask yourselves, how can it be done better? And be willing to disagree. Thank you, Mr. Kraft. Thank you. I appreciate it. I believe that's the only cards we have for public.